Dr. Sella here. We're going to talk about the 2022 triple option offense as where it stands right now through mid-November. I had a very good friend, and we, we had this conversation yesterday about the offense. And every year, there's a general theme to what the academies are doing. And I try to radically deconstruct that theme, and I'm going to do that for you right now in its current state. Now, this is subject to change. Air Force is able to go to a bowl game. Army is going to have to win out to go to a bowl game. Navy would have to do some magical things. I, I, they'd have to do a lot to get to a bowl game. But right now, it's, it, it, it's about Air Force right now. Air Force is getting it done. Man, it's a beautiful thing to see, too. They're 7-3. and three and I'll have the breakdowns of, of... I've got four more games to break down. Two Navy, one Army, one Air Force. <laughs> Excuse me. How have that done this week? <laughs> All right. I think I got one more. <laughs> there we go. All right. So the 2022 triple option offense. Here we go. It's all built around the zone dive. Setting the wedge on the guard. The center guard tackle set the wedge on the guard. The A back is the fourth guy in the wedge. And then there's two scoops behind it. So it's a six man wedge. Quarterback jumps at the place at A gap, points the ball. B back runs through the ball through the place at hip of the tackle through the end zone. While the third guy in the surface blocks the nearest inside backer, whether you're running out of flex or heavy, that's your call. They they do both. So the zone dive is basically how the offense is run. They run that more than anything else. It's not even close. Now, how they go from there. If they don't get four yards on the zone dive, they're looking to get the ball pitched with midline triples. So basically what they're looking to do is they're looking to pull pitch the ball now. The days are over of them handing the ball off on mid-triple. If they have to hand the ball off, they're just going to run zone dive. You might as well get a six-man wedge and a triple team. Then hand the ball off on midline triple. So unless that guy's doing that, they're, they're not running mid-triple. Now, they better be getting that and that to run midline triple because if they're not, then they're just going to run something better. Something to conflict number two. This could be kick. This could be zone lead. Could be the down. Could be be back power. Something to conflict number two. I've drawn the zone lead here. I think Army's done some amazing things with it. Because if they, they cheat the A back up to put him in a position where he's off the ball so he's ineligible. But he's in a position where he can down block the guy over the tackle. They create their triple team and you don't have to block it any different. Then you do the zone dive. So you get a six-man wedge. B-back leads through the heavy tackle where the receiver fans number two. Quarterback takes the snap and just follows the B-back and goes. Great concept, but the whole point is if this guy's running to the pitch, they use his momentum against them and run the ball between number one and number two. Any way you slice, dice, whatever, zone dives how you run the offense. Real simple. Basically from there, you run mid-triple to get the ball pitched. If two runs out to the pitch, you better conflict them with something that uses his momentum against them, builds a wall there, the ball is running between one and two. You run to that void. That's what the academies are doing in 2022. Coaches, you want to win more games in 2023, give me a call at the Triple Option Football Academy. The Triple Option Football Academy will show you how. Talk soon.